and welcome back friend today in this video i will discuss about abnormal red blood cells or what are the abnormalities we will see in rbc's morphology red blood cells that we will call rbc's are one of the most important cells in the blood as you know there are three blood cells found in the blood white blood cells red blood cells and platelets in this video i will discuss about abnormality of rbc's morphology so we will start rbc morphology is related to two types of abnormality either if the rbc shape is not normal as we know that rbc's are oval biconcave shape or if the size of rbc is not normal normal size of rbc's as we know that is 7 micrometer so if there will be any change either in the size or in the shape of red blood cell that will be considered as abnormal rbc's so abnormal rbc's is considered any change that occur to the rbc and it can be the shape size inclusion and hemoglobin concentration if we will see the size if it is less than normal size we will call microcytic cells and if it is more than nor normal size that will be called as macrocytic so in rbc morphology if less size we will called as microcytic anemia and if size will increase it will cause macrocytic anemia and that will depend on the different type of conditions now first we will start elliptocytes as the arrow is indicating rbc's that uh, rbc's are elliptocytes elliptocytosis is a hereditary disorder of red blood cells and in this condition rbc's assume an elliptical shape rather than typical round shape and hereditary elliptocytes is congenital red blood cell membrane disorder that can cause mild hemolytic anemia and symptoms generally in hereditary elliptocytosis include a uh, variable degree of anemia joinders and splenomegaly next is tear drop cells as we can see it is tear shaped that's why these cells are called tear drop cells uh, the presence of uh, tear drop cells may indicate anemia caused by bone marrow not producing normal cells due to toxins or tumor cells and the cancer in the bone marrow myelofibrosis or severe iron deficiency anemia also indicate in that also we will in rbc morphology we will see tear drop cells and how tear drop cells are formed actually red blood cells with inclusions tear drop cells from these cells when the cells attempt to pass through the micro circulation resulting in pinching the cell as the part containing the inclusion is left behind and where we will see tear drop cell tear drop cells may be seen in the setting of marrow infiltration by fibrosis granulomatous inflammation human hematologic or metastatic malignancy uh, splenic abnormalities megaloblastic anemia and thalassemia tear drop cells as you see tear drop cells have slightly round or blunt ends next is sickle shape rbc sickle shape rbc in that we will see rbc's have sickle shape that's why they are called sickle shape a uh, sickle cells is an inherited disease caused by defect in a gene a person will born with sickle cell disease only if two genes are inherited one from the mother and one from the father and if person who inherited just one gene is healthy and considered to be carrier and there are three type of uh, sickle cells mm, actually there are several but the most common are sickle cell anemia sickle cell hemoglobin s c disease sickle cell hemoglobin s disease sickle beta thalassemia and sickle beta 0 thalassemia the most confirmative test to diagnose uh sickle cell disease is the hemoglobin electrophoresis in that we can see how much fraction of each hemoglobin type is present next is acanthocytes acanthocytes also called as 
स्पर सेल्स दे आर डेंस श्रंकन एंड इरेगुलर शेप्ड आर बी सी विद स्पाइक्स ऑन आउटसाइड एंड दी सेल्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम चेंजेस इन द फैट एंड प्रोटीन ऑन रेड ब्लड सेल्स आउटर लेयर mostly adults have small number of acanthocytes in their blood uh, acanthocytes what indicate acanthocytes are found in people having severe liver disease and some other diseases like malnutrition hypothyroidism and macleod syndrome and what causes acanthocytes in the blood acanthocyte can be caused by first uh, altered distribution or proportion of membrane lipids or second by membrane protein or membrane skeleton abnormalities and in membrane lipid abnormalities previously normal rbcs red cell precursor often acquire, acquire the acanthocytic morphology from the plasma next is target cells target cells also known as codocytes other name is codocytes target cells are red blood cells that have the appearance of shooting target with a bull's eye and uh, what does target cell mean in blood test and uh, target cell or codocyte have an excess uh, of cell membrane relative to cell volume and macrocytic target cell can be seen in liver disease and microcytic target cells can be seen in um, thalassemia and which what diseases cause target cell there are four major circumstances in which target cell appear as the major morphological abnormalities and thalassemia hepatic disease with joint as hemoglobin c disorder and post splenectomy state and lesser number of target cells found in sickle cell anemia iron deficiency and lead intoxication next is bite cells uh, bite cells are red blood cells that contain a semi circular indent on the edge of their membrane giving uh, the appearance of bite being taken out of the cell and uh, which anemia has bite cells hains body hemolytic anemia that is uh, there is we can see bite cells and where are bite cells seen the rbc deformity are the as we showing in the image also this abnormality can be seen in when hemoglobin precipitates and uh, attached hains body or supravital staining attached to the rbc membrane and removed when the cells are passed through the spleen next is rolex rbc uh, rolex are stacks or aggregation of red blood cells that form because of unique discoid shape of the cells and what cause rolex rbcs when rolex formation is truly present it is caused an increased cathodal protein such as immunoglobulins and fibrinogen but just to confirm rolex for uh, rbc is better try one more smear to confirm because sometime if smear is not make properly that time also rolex formation will come and what does rolex in blood means rolex are clumps of rbc that look like stacked plates they usually form as a result of abnormal quantity of certain proteins immunoglobulin fibrinogen in the blood and rolex are a non specific indication for the presence of pathology uh, which anemia cause is uh, rolex for formation a normal chromic normal cytic anemia is often present with uh, rolex formation and a high non specific background staining on the blood smear due to the presence of circulating para proteins next is uh, schistocytes Uh, schistocytes are red blood cell fragments in the presence of schistocyte on peripheral blood smear according to laboratory policy is a hematological emergency that requires prompt review and investigation for the thrombotic microangiopathy and uh, what does the presence of schistocyte means and uh, schistocytes as uh, you can see are split red blood cell that indicate microangiopathic hemolytic anemia 
and their presence in peripheral smear is the hallmark for the diagnosis of thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. What is the cause of schistocyte? Schistocyte formation occurs as a result of mechanical destruction or we can say that fragmentation hemolysis of normal red blood cells and this occurs when there is a damage to the blood vessel and clot begin to form and the formation of fibrin stead in the vessel occur as a part of uh, the clot formation process. Next is Haines bodies. Haines bodies are structures that are formed from the breakdown of hemoglobin in red blood cells and they occur due to oxidative damage from toxin medication as a result of underlying G6PD deficiency or thalassemia. Haines body can cause red blood cells to break down and condition will be described as Haines body anemia. As I told that Haines bodies are indicative of oxidative injury to erythrocytes and they are clumps of irreversible denatured hemoglobin attached to the erythrocyte cell membrane and this dot you will see it will be in the membrane in the side. If you will remember target cells that we saw in that it will be in center but in Haines body you will see red dot in the membrane. And what diseases we can see Haines bodies? Haines bodies have been studied both in human and animal. In human, they have associated with a handful of red blood cell disorder, including thalassemia, hemolytic anemia, and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Next is uh, basophilic stipplings. Uh, basophilic stipplings um, is a frequent manifestation of hematologic disease in peripheral blood and it is also observable in bone marrow aspirate. It is implicated in the cause of lead poisoning but can also indicator of various heavy metallic toxicities. Which anemia has basophilic stipplings? Uh, it includes thalassemia, megaloblastic anemia, sickle cell uh, disease. And basophilic stippling also known as uh, punctuate basophilia as is the presence of numerous basophilic granules that are dispersed through the cytoplasm of erythrocyte in the peripheral membrane, uh, peripheral blood smear, sorry. And what is the stippling in RBCs? Basophilic stipplings actually refer to the presence of RBCs of inclusion of aggregated damaged ribosomes. RBC inclusion may occur secondarily to the heavy condition and elements. So this video is completed here. I hope you got idea about RBC morphology according to the shapes and which cell seen in which condition also this video is completed here thank you so much